construction manager intern here at Hub Renovations. Here I am at 73 Macon Street, one of our newest projects and one of the most exciting, I think. Um, today I'm going to show you guys some of the historical aspects of this place. It is historically landmarked, which means you can't really change much, especially on the outside. It has to stay the same because it tells the story of when it was built and we're trying to preserve that story. That being said, we still need to change it up to restore its original charm, and that's our goal here. Um, this door, for example, right here, these doors cost thousands and thousands of dollars and are hard to find nowadays, but this original door is here. It has all these gorgeous details on it, but it got the landlord special, or layers and layers of paint until you can't even, it doesn't look that special, but I promise beneath these hundreds of layers of paint, there's a gorgeous store in here, and we're, that's our goal is to expose that and kind of strip off all the paint from these original details to keep them. And so when you walk in here, you get that historical feel, but it still feels newer. I know this door doesn't seem too exciting right now, but trust me, when it's done, it's gonna look so amazing, and all these details are going to show. I can't wait for you guys to see what this place is going to look like once we're done doing what we do. So a brownstone wouldn't be a brownstone with a beautiful fireplace right in the middle of the living room. And that's exactly what we have here. And this type of detail you can't find in a modern home with the stained glass and the wooden. It's just so gorgeous and stands out. But the colors are a little outdated. It just it needs to be revamped. And our goal is to not get rid of it or not to make it super modern with white marble and, you know, black and white. We want to keep the wooden details and all the intricacies, but still modernize it so that it's new, but it still has that historical feel to it. So like the doors, these, are, these staircases are also currently covered, not only in layers of paint, but there's construction dust on them. So I don't know if you guys can tell how beautiful they really are, but this is the charm you expect to see when you walk into a brownstone. It's this wooden detail, and again, we're going to strip all this paint off and restore its original charm, its original detail, and, and you guys will love what it's going to look like once it's done. So now I'm at the basement at 73 Macon Street, and right now it's just a whole lot of dirt, and that's because we are digging. We're digging into the ground to raise the height of the walls by about two feet. And we basically do that on all our projects. A lot of these brownstones and these old buildings in Brooklyn and New York City, uh, they just have very shallow basements and cellars, and it feels super claustrophobic when you're down there. Um, I don't know if you guys have experienced it, but it just feels tight. It feels like the ceiling's coming in on you, and it doesn't feel like a usable space. So we opened it up a lot in here. We even got rid of a structural wall, replaced it with a beam on the ceiling instead. And now we're digging. And in the end, the wall heights are gonna go from about six feet to eight feet, which is a huge difference, especially for tall people. So this place is gonna be usable. It's gonna feel comfortable. You can make it a room, make it anything you want pretty much. And it's, it's not gonna feel, it's not gonna have that tight cellar feel. It's gonna feel like an open room. And that's a wrap for 73 Macon as of now. Again, my name is Senna from Hub Renovations. And I'll see you guys in a few months when we're completed so I can show you the finished product. <laughs>